Rock and roll. Welcome back in to the Friday Night Frenzy. Tristan and Adina back with even more Class B hoops as we turn our attention to the second leg of Region 6. Yeah, that's right. District 12 teams trying to move past the first round in day one at the Minot Auditorium. Bishop Bryan, winners of four straight and the top team in the district, opening up with Berthold. And the Bombers trail early, but a couple shots to go from outside. Mark Schauer reigns in the right wing three. Doesn't take long for Top seed to jump ahead though, Brady Feller buries this three just before the horn. And 11 points for the senior, Lions, a big winner tonight. The 4-5 game, always an intriguing matchup. This one, our Redeemers and Surrey. First quarter goes back and forth, Dalton Walker on the double dribble drive and finish off the window and it's just two points game ahead of the second. Before halftime, Knights build a big lead. First, it's Noah Erickson on the attack. Hangs in the air and it's finished up at the cup and our Redeemer wins by 32. Two seed Glass Burlington taking on Glenburn. Lakers up big and showtime for Carson Yale. The power dribble and the one hand hammer adds on to the Glass Burlington lead. And that lead would only grow the rest of the way. Paxson Eastos getting on the offensive boards. Finds himself wide open inside for two. Lakers dominant tonight as they move on. And in the final District 12 game today, South Prairie hoping to upset the number three MLS. South Prairie scores first, but then MLS responds on an 8-0 run. Eighth grader Eli Unlin leading the way with the two early threes. And the Royals trying to find some offense. Check out the court vision. Josh Grun Gruninger finds Cam Sice 4-2. And Mohal Lance for Sherwood moves on with a big win. Kimmer Bobel battles it out with Tioga in the District 16 tournament. Reed Kruger starts the scoring for the five seed Tioga, creating space, drilling the 15 footer. Later on in the game, the Hawkers looking to extend their lead in the first. Jack Zimmer does just that, buries a step back three from the corner. Ken Merritt takes it 63 to 50. On to the second District 16 game where the three seed Divide County takes on number six seed Ray. Good pressure on defense by, Mar by the Maroons. Leads to a turnover and a reverse layup from Wyatt Carabello. Jays freshman Brody Sierner drives his way to the, into the paint, throws up the shot from the elbow and it rattles in. Divide County comes away on top 66-29. But that's not all we have for Class B hoops. Let's bring in Phil Bonatti and Lou Gamble who are on the call of the game down in Wilton. Yeah, thanks Tristan and Adina. Some good basketball action down here as well. Uh, not the stakes for the postseason, but it felt like it in Wilton. Yeah, absolutely. Senior night hosting fourth ranked Shiloh Christian and you saw it live on the Dakota CW regular season finale for both of these teams. Wilton Wing showing up on senior night. Eight for ten from beyond the arc in the first half. The Miners just clicking on all cylinders, but the Skyhawks start chipping away, getting the big man Jay Wadzik involved, beating the double team for two of his 18 points on the night. And the moment the game changed was this three ball in the corner wide open. It's Isaac Immel taking the lead and never letting up from there. Shiloh holds on to win on the road, 73-68. We had to make sure to hedge screens and get hand up on shooters. First half, we didn't do too good with that. So once we got that down, we got defense pretty, pretty good. So that was how it was. When we started using our bigs properly, then we basically made them play our game instead of where the first half we were playing their game. So. I think if, you know, if, uh, if we can use our bigs properly, then, then we have an advantage. If we don't, then we're really shooting ourselves in the foot. So, WDA postseason action, playing game between Turtle Mountain and St. Mary. Saints coming out of the gate on fire. Kick out to Jackson Ross from beyond the arc. It drops for the first points of the game. Rays down three, but Anything they can do, I can do better. Xavier Parisian from deep and falls, and it ties the game early. Both teams coming to play. Benjamin Zanker at the top of the key. Rain and three-pointers for up in Belcourt tonight. It's Turtle Mountain, though, that's going to move on, winning 71-66. Let's go to the college side of things. You marry women robbed of a home postseason game, playing on a neutral side against Wayne State. Megan Sander, the first team all-conference selection for a reason, stopping the drive, finds a way to score two of her 14 on the night. Four players in double figures for Marauders. Another one of those, Reese Wishart, finding success in the paint to help you marry to a win. They'll play in the Pentagon 